Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the <clears throat> the update to the Adorn Jewel with basically the new, oh well not new, but the Vol side area stuff that's been going on. If you guys are unaware, the new way to roll unique Vol side areas to explain really quickly is to actually have a duo method. So I tried originally with the Scour Alk method and it just takes so damn long. I mean, it's somewhere around three, four, five hundred attempts before you can even pull a unique vol side area. So I believe it was either on Captain Lance's stream or Pal Palstron's stream, I'm not sure which. My chat was basically saying, try it with two people. So the method here is basically one person is spamming alterations and the other, sorry, chance orbs and the other is spamming scouring. So it's actually like a duo method to try to fish for a uh, vol side area. You can tell how fast we're spamming based off of the chance orbs in my like inventory going away. It is so much quicker. Now, when you're doing this, I would say, 80% of the time, maybe 90% of the time, you are going to find the Endless Nightmare, which is basically Endless Depression. It quite literally gives you nothing. It's just a vol side area that loops itself. The other one is, uh, I forgot what it's called off the top of my head, but I'll show you what you get from it. You get uh, Guaranteed Fractured Incursion Bases. Um, so I'm going to hover over basically everything I found here. I don't think anything is really worth much that I found. There are some really expensive Incursion Fractures, like one of the, I don't know if it's cold conversion or flat cold on gloves is a big one. Did not end up finding it. Um, probably went through close to eight to 10,000 chance orbs here. I didn't tally exactly everything we found, but here it is what I can tell you. In the 8,000 plus scour alk attempts, we found three adorn jewels, and all three of them were found within like the first few hours. Um, so around the first 3,000, I would say. It's definitely weighted. So you find the Endless Nightmare, uh, which is the one that just keeps looping. And this one specifically, the Incursion one, I would say those are like, I don't know, I think it's like a 45-45-10 split. So you 45% of the time you get this one, 45% of the time you get Unending Depression. And then the last 10% is the Delir is uh, sorry, the Adorn Jewel. So we found three of them. We found one that I have listed right over here for three divines. It was a 106. Then the guy I was doing it with, we dropped a 107, so he got the 107, we're splitting them. And then we got really lucky and dropped a 140, which we sold for about 90 divines, which is actually how I just bought a Mage Blood on this character. So overall, it's pretty fun. Is it worth it? Eh, I don't know. I mean, do you really want to break your fingers constantly doing this over and over and over when you could like Alk and Go or just do Essence and make more currency? It's definitely something fun to do from time to time. I think overall, all this is kind of going to do is help the economy. People are buying scours, people are buying chance orbs, and adorn jewels are going down in price. So I think it's like a win-win-win for everyone. I, I could be wrong here, but it seems like a triple win across the board. So that's at least something that's nice. Unfortunately, in SSF, it, it is still you know possible to to get something like this. But I mean, I mean we're looking just from my sample size, an average of like three thousand chance orbs and three thousand scours per one adorned, if even. That seems a bit crazy still. So unfortunately, still really rare. Um, a lot of people are going to ask about like specific currency. You cannot use any <clears throat> any of the regular currency on it. So you can't use an ancient orb. You cannot use, uh, what is it, the, the mythic orb? None of that stuff works. You can't use any of it. You pretty much have to scour Alk, uh, sorry, scour Chance it. And for people who are going to say, well, what if it just pops up normally in your map? I'm not even going to do the math here, but if it's one in 500 average and you find one map in you know, well, one vol side area every 20 maps, we're looking at some extremely low numbers. And not to mention, I don't even know if they can spawn naturally. So, you know, still very tricky here and there. Um, there is some currency to be made with it, though, but I I'm not really sure if it's for me. Like I said, I had my fun with it, and I just kind of wanted to go ahead and bring you guys some sample size uh, of, of what we did. So anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow.